Tim, Scott Drew has the straw that stirs the Baylor Bears drink, and he is none other than Jared Butler. Why is this guy one of the best guards in the country? Yeah, because he has pro moves, meaning he plays with an amazing pace, and he lets the defense dictate what he's going to do. Like, okay, you're going to give me this shot? I don't need much space here. Cam, when you see a guy like Jared Butler, is there anyone his game reminds you of? Yeah, when I see his game, it really reminds me of Monte Morris. And if you remember Monte Morris at Iowa State, he was a bucket. And that's what Jared Butler is. And, of course, Morris is playing now with the Denver Nuggets, comes off the bench, but is a vital piece to Mike Malone's group. And I think that's what Jared Butler can be in the NBA when he decides to enter the draft. This is a guy that can come off the bench, get you buckets, but also, as we'll see in these clips coming up, feed his teammates to get them buckets as well. So Monte Morris is my NBA comp for Jared Butler. You agree with that, Tim? Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, it's a great one-on-one -on -one play. There's nothing harder to score in basketball than when you go one-on-one -on -one and you got four of your teammates staring around, you know, trying to watch you make a play. But I think he's got balance to his offense, you know, whether it is going one-on-one -on -one or banging down open shots. Uh, I love your comparison. And this is just a, another thing that Scott Drew's squad has, just a, an arraignment of talent. You could almost start having an argument about who's their most valuable player, Baylor. Like, they have so many different guys. I know Butler is their most skilled offensive player, but is he their most valuable? I think it's a conversation. Yeah, that's true, because all of their guards are interchangeable. And we talked about the NBA game, Tim, especially with Jalen Suggs coming off that ball screen. This is what the NBA game is here on this play. You see Butler split that screen, and it just finds – Davion Mitchell for this three. If you can do this, you're going to make yourself a lot of money. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see because there's so much talent there and there is so much chemistry. You know, how, I mean, that's just a big time sick move. Just freeze you. This is the matchup I want to have. But, you know, can you stand alone? Like, or are, are, are your teammates, you, because you got to share the sugar a little bit, you know, we don't get to see you go out there and get 30 a night because your team is so talented. I mean, it's hard to get 20 points a game in college just because uh, lack of possessions and overall skill level. But this is a guy that if he was the man on a team, I could see him going out there getting 24, 25 points a night. Yeah, no doubt about that. And he's, he's averaging just under 20 points per game. And that says a lot about what he can do offensively. And we're going to see it here, kicking over to the corner. And this is the patience that we talk about with a lot of older players, right? He doesn't settle for that three. He actually dives a little deeper with his basketball to see what David McCormick is going to do. And McCormick is just trying to throw his hands up, not get a foul. And Butler does the smart thing by throwing his body into him first to get that and one. So we've talked about what he can do offensively scoring the basketball, but the underrated part of Jared Butler's game is how he assists and gets his teammates involved. And I think that's a big reason why we're going to see Baylor when the dust settles competing for that championship, hopefully against Gonzaga.